Thank you. Our first order of business is a special presentation from Ruth Patrick, Director of Women of Means Network, Silicon Valley. And if we're ready, you can uh, come and you have ten minutes. Uh -huh. Thanks. Uh, thank you. And now Mr. Packard is here. <laughs> Are we ready? Oh, on your mark? Is that? Please, all right. Um, Madam Mayor, members of the City Council, thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak to you tonight. My name is Ruth Patrick, and my background is in education, social research, and domestic violence advocacy. I'm the founder and director of a nonprofit program called Women SV, which is Women of Means Escape Network, Silicon Valley. Our goals are to raise awareness about the impact of domestic violence in middle to upper income areas like Los Altos and Los Altos Hills and to connect our residents with resources in order to help them deal more effectively with it. Women SV is an official program of the Los Altos Community Foundation. You can find us on the LACF website under programs. I'd like to start by saying that domestic violence happens to men too and in some ways is even more damaging because it strikes at the very core of their identity as a male. And it happens at the same rate in gay couples as in straight. But 85 to 95 percent of domestic violence victims are female, and so that's the focus of Women SV. One in four women will be a victim of domestic violence in their lifetime. That means we don't have to look very far to find someone we know who is a victim or survivor of domestic abuse. The truth is, domestic violence cuts across all income and education levels, all races, genders, cultures, and professions. Doctors, lawyers, engineers, teachers, religious leaders, any one of them can be an abuser. Any one of them can be a victim. Here's what I mean by domestic violence. It's a pattern of using power and control in order to attack and dominate an intimate partner in all of these different ways, physical, emotional, verbal, sexual, financial. Some women may think if they are not being beaten that it's not abuse. But emotional abuse always accompanies physical abuse, and broken bones and bruises heal. The scars from emotional abuse can last a lifetime. Domestic abuse or domestic violence also includes financial abuse, controlling all the resources, even if she participates in earning them. She may drive a fancy car but have no access to a joint bank account, no spending money of her own, even if she has a high-powered job outside the home. Emotional, verbal, financial, these types of abuse are very common in more affluent areas like ours and very damaging not only to the victim but to the structure of the entire family. It's how families get broken. And children's health is severely impacted by domestic violence. Even if they are not directly abused by the batterer, just growing up witnessing abuse greatly increases children's risk for emotional, behavioral, and physical health problems and can compromise their ability to do well in school. Some, women, some children grow up, growing up in abusive homes become bullies, and that's when the cycle of abuse gets perpetuated. Bullying is the gateway behavior to domestic violence. You see it on the playground, and then in high school and college it becomes teen dating violence. Then as adults it turns into intimate partner violence. One in three of these children who live in a home where one parent abuses the other will grow up to become victims or abusers themselves. Carried forward long enough, it becomes elder abuse. The cycle of, of violence can be broken, but if nothing is done, it's the families, the children, the women who get broken, even here, even in beautiful, affluent communities like ours. Domestic violence is on the rise in the country and in our county, with 16 deaths occurring as a result of domestic violence last year in our county. That's triple the rate of the year before. In Los Altos, Los Altos Hills last year, there were 16 domestic violence report, uh, related reports taken. And Police Chief Tuck Yunus believes that domestic violence is underreported in this area. One reason is the huge social stigma attached to domestic violence here. It's not supposed to happen in affluent areas like ours. Or if it does, she's supposed to be able to handle it by herself. But how? Who does she turn to for help if she doesn't have access to her own money? and if we have a hard time even acknowledging that this problem exists. <laughs> Women in our area have so much to lose by rocking the boat. Their home, their lifestyle, their friends, their partner's public image, their own reputation in the community, their children. An abusive partner's threats, power, money, 
influence and technical expertise make it hard for her to leave safely, get a fair settlement, and keep custody of her children. And until now, there has been no program in place in this part of the county to help her. So I'm here tonight to share with you some very good news. Our program, Women SV, has been designed specifically to fill this gap. We already have a very strong advisory board with the past president of the Santa Clara County Psychological Association, Netflix and eBay's retired accountant, two local therapists who also run programs at CHAC, an educational consultant from Stanford, Harker Academy's global outreach director, and two domestic violence advocates, one of whom co-founded two domestic violence agencies. They are all accomplished professionals with a great deal of experience and all dedicated to carrying out our mission. Police Chief Eunice and Sheriff's Captain Bender have also expressed strong support for our program. They acknowledge that domestic violence is an issue in our community, as it is in every community, regardless of income level. We also have the support of Paul Colin, our new Superior Court Judge, and members of the DV Council, including the Chair and Vice Chair. Until now, it has been one of society's dark secrets that domestic violence happens even in more affluent neighborhoods. But that's where the Women SV program comes in. As attorney and DV council member Julie Saffron said to me, this is an idea whose time has come. At Women SV, we are committed to raising awareness about the impact of domestic violence in our community by giving presentations at local service organizations, schools, clinics, businesses, city council meetings. We also connect women with resources depending on their needs. And to do that, I have a directory that I created. Domestic violence impacts women in so many ways. Personal security, financial, legal, emotional, educational, vocational. That's why my directory offers resources in all these areas. All the members of the Santa Clara County Domestic Violence Council have copies of my directory. It's also on my website. Of course, we can't guarantee outcomes, but we can help each woman increase her chances of getting a fair settlement, keeping custody of her children, and emerging with her reputation and mental health intact by helping her build a strong team to support her. Her abusive partner will certainly have a strong team supporting him. If her son is starting to imitate the behavior of his abusive father, we have parenting coaches who can help. If her daughter is struggling in school or getting into drugs, we have educational consultants who can help. If a woman's self-esteem is being eroded and she is feeling hopeless or even suicidal, we have skilled therapists who can help. In all these cases, she needs a counselor with training and experience in domestic violence. Not all of them have it. We know those who do. If she needs a good lawyer, many women ask a friend or look online. But not all family law attorneys have training in domestic violence. We know those who do. If she doesn't choose carefully, she will be outgunned by her partner's dream team and risk losing her fair share of the settlement and possibly even her children. Skilled legal representation is critical for her sake and for the sake of her children. The providers we work with all understand that an abuser can be a highly successful, respected member of the community, give sermons, sit on committees, teach children, coach football, and still be an abuser. Women will need a special set of resources to take on the money and influence that come with this kind of power and prestige. But because of Women SV, they don't have to do it alone anymore. And every visit, every phone call is confidential. Whether she chooses to leave or not is her choice. There will never be any pressure from our program to leave if that isn't her, her choice. It, it's sometimes safer to stay. It totally depends on the situation. But we can still help her get the education and contact she needs to make her own informed decisions, create her own strong team of support, and start to take back power and control over her own life for her own sake, for the sake of her children, and ultimately for the sake of our community. That's why the Los Altos Community Foundation has adopted my program. And that's why I've come tonight to share the news that our women and children don't have to suffer in silence anymore. We can help. We can all help. Madam Mayor, members of the City Council, I'm asking for your support. Through your social and professional network, I'm, if you can suggest any other groups or organizations for us to present to, that would be helpful. We also need volunteers to pass out flyers and help spread the word. When the spirit of giving strikes you, please think of us at the Los Altos Community Foundation and write Women SV in the memo line. We need donations for presentation materials, directories, advertising, public relations to mount a campaign against domestic violence in our neighborhood. 
Our motto is, the more we know, the more we can do to end domestic violence. And when I read your motto up here, it looks like we share the same mission, to foster and maintain the city of Los Altos as a great place to live and to raise a family. And our community can only be as healthy as the families that make it up. Thank you. Thank you very much for that informative presentation. Um, and now we move to um, Madam Mayor, may I just questions? say one more thing? Uh, oh, I have directories sure. and brochures if anybody would like them. Okay, great. Any questions for our speakers? Uh, seeing none, thank you.